Hey everyone, it's Aaron Schechter from 365shaves.com and the Wet Shaver Review. Yes, this is a Cuisinart coffee pot that's sitting next to me, but I will not be reviewing this tonight. Unfortunately, old trusty here is being retired. It was just replaced by a, a, a Keurig View. I just moved into the world of single serve coffee pots and I'm going to miss my old reliable coffee pot that served me quite well for probably the last decade so she's sitting next to me for this review kind of moral support anyway let's get on to it so tonight we're going to be reviewing GOF Trumper's Eucris Eucris scented soap this is the actual soap not cream that is a very important thing I want to note right now this will be also the fastest review I promise you will ever hear from me because there is not a whole heck of a lot for me to talk about unfortunately. Um, more so, I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm not giving you a thumbs up. I ended up having to get stitches. So for those of you who have been uh, sending me a message saying, Aaron, where have you been? Uh, you know, you, you're not active today. I'm very honored and very um, happy everyone's noticing I'm not around, but I was in the hospital getting stitched up. I At 5 a.m. yesterday, I thought my finger was part of a bagel when I was cutting through the bagel and decided to cut my finger basically quarter of it off so anyway got stitched back together I'm back I'm around I'm alive got a tetanus shot too so I'm a bit locked jaw even though half of you probably wish I would so I'd shut up anyway so let's talk about Eucharist four things I really look for I look at packaging scent lather and slickness or glide okay so first off let's look at the packaging the packaging is really really nice okay I do like the packaging um, it's a wooden bowl wooden presentation a lot like um, the uh, DR Harris brand uh, bowls a little bit more sleek of a design a little bit more um, I don't know how well you could see this a little bit more thinner profile a little bit more rounded I could see on the sanding if this is actually wood not a plastic composite it's hard for me to tell because when I tap it it sounds like plastic but it feels like wood um, I could see the grain running from the uh, east to west or west to east instead of having a north-south uh, graining. Whereas on the top I see actually like a swirl pattern like it was polished. Um, which leads me to believe it's actually wood. Um, also the same holds true of the bottom when I look on the inside. It looks like a wood pattern to me. So that being said, I do believe it's a wooden bowl. So I actually do think it's very good. Um, the Euchre symbol is actually a sticker that's stuck on. There is no list of ingredients or anything of the sort on it. Packaging, I think, is adequate. I don't think it's anything that's special. Um, it's it's definitely adequate, though, and it's very nice, and it keeps your puck of soap very, very uh, well protected. keeps any of those dust bunnies off of it, okay? So packaging is, is good. It's on par with the top of them with uh, the type of, like, uh, D.R. Harris or um, some of the other ones that offer uh, wooden bowl presentations for the soap. It's also worthy of mention that Eucharist, uh, most people don't know this, the Eucharist scent actually came out in 1912. This is a 102 year old scent Eucharist and it is one of my favorite scents, okay? So we're going to start talking about the scent now. Um, Eucharist is a very complex scent. Um, it has uh, black currant, it has uh, lemon, raspberry, a lot of berry notes to it. Um, it also has like jasmine, lily of the valley. I'm trying to think what else I could pick up in the scent of this. It's definitely got an oak moss to it. It's definitely got um, it's definitely got cedar to it. It's definitely got um, a lot of. It's just a very masculine, complex. I don't even know how to classify this. This is, I guess, a, I would call this a woodsy floral, a wood of, I guess, a woodsy floral. I'm not even sure. Cipher. I guess, a woodsy floral cipher. Uh, that's the best way I could describe it. It's a very complex, unique scent, and it's it's probably my favorite of any soap scent ever made is Eucharist. It's probably my favorite. It's a lot of people's favorites. It's it's amazing, the scent. That's the strongest point of this soap, okay? Everything's going to go downhill from this point forward, so let's talk about lather. It barely exists, okay? That's the problem with Eucharist. I was told older formulations, and if you ask UF Trumpers, there was never a reformulation, but no soap company's ever going to you know, tell you there was a reformulation, and maybe there wasn't. Maybe there's just a bad batch. I know for a 100% fact I'm not the only one that was affected by this because I have read 
multiple reviews on multiple sites, including on the Wet Shaver Review, that had have had problems with either Eucharist or other of the newer uh, GOF Trumper soaps. It does not affect the creams at all. It's only the hard puck soaps. And um, I've heard mixed reviews that either GOF F Trumpers has sent replacement pucks that have worked great, or in my case, I still haven't even gotten a response yet from GOF Trumpers about the soap that doesn't work. What it does is it basically, it does create a lather, but the lather literally, you it, it, it fades within less than five seconds. You could have, a, um, it's never a thick lather, it's just like a thin coat of a lather. And then literally by the time you're picking up a razor, you're actually watching little, and I'm sure everyone is kind of familiar with this, little um, particulates of soap floating. Like as you, the razor touches, it's like, and you know, little uh, soap particles, you know, like uh, dried soap floats off into the air. It literally dries almost instantly and it dissipates to nothing. You never get it, the lather even close to thick enough to um, it have it coat your face. You have, you could always see skin at any given point. The lather is barely, if at all, existent with this. The only way to use this soap is to do sectional shaving, which is what I have only used this by itself. When I've used it by itself, I should say, is like I'll take it, make the lather on my neck, sit down the brush really quick, grab, grab the razor. I would never use a straight razor with this, by the way. I would only use a double edged because you could do it quicker. Grab the double edge, do your pass really quick. Grab the brush, load it, do the next part, shave and do it. it. It's a pain in the butt. I would never recommend it. It's just too big of a hassle. What I do do with this is I use a neutral soap, something like Arco, which has a little bit of a lemon scent that will go with this. That does lather amazingly well. Load heavy with this. Load very heavy with this and then add Arco as a, a thin coat of Arco as base and then load heavy with the Eucharist. Then you could create a lather and actually use this and get somewhat of the scent profile mixed with Arco. But really, after spending like, you know, $40 for a puck of soap, do you really want to have to mix it with a $1.99 puck of Arco to make it work? Think about it, seriously. Um, so let's move on to Glide. I think I just explained it with the lather. If you don't have a lather, you don't really have a Glide. So, uh, I mean, it's next to nothing. I mean, it's, uh, I get more Glide out of my 220 grit sandpaper. I mean, it's pretty bad. I hate to say it. I, I really don't like talking bad about anyone's product especially considering how much I love the scent of this and how elegant I think the, the packaging really is. Um, I honestly, in all fairness, think GOF Trumpers had a bad run of soap. I think they had a bad run of soap or the reformulated and the reformulation was not very good. Um, I've heard the cream, which I actually am going to buy the cream, um, is excellent. And I don't doubt that for a second. Um, so that being said, I will do another review on the cream and we will see how it works and I bet my review will be completely different but the 365 shave slider bar will reflect my experience with this soap and yes by the way I've tried it with a dry brush with a wet brush I've tried making it very hydrated I've tried it very dry I've tried every single thing from bore to mixed hair to pure bristle to best badger to silver tip to synthetic I tried everything with this it doesn't work. Period. That's it. End the story. Anyway, thumbs up with uh, six stitches. Goodbye to my Cuisinart. I love you. You've served me well. Hope my uh, Keurig does the same. I wish you all a very, very pleasant eve. God bless and get your shaves on. Take it easy. I'm Aaron from 365 Shaves and the Wet Shaver Review. Bye-bye.